This is Stephen, the Disney driver of Robinson. You're watching the one and only Sport Icon. Bow bow! Alright everybody, hope you're all doing fantastic. So obviously I do a post-fight reaction video, which of course I've done late last night for Dan Dubois versus Kevin Lorena for the WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship. So far, as I've been recording this video, over 21,000 of you have watched that video. So thank you very much. And of course, welcome to all the new subscribers that have come in since that video. Now, within the comment section of that video, and of course on social media, of course, on social media, there's a lot of opinions. And of course, you know what, everybody's entitled to their own opinions talking about that fight, where a lot of people are saying it was fixed. People are looking at Kevin Lorena saying he was in on the fix. People look at the referee. People look at the British Boxing Board of Control. Now, if there was a fix, then I think the only person who, or sorry, one person who was not in on the fix would be Daniel Dubois. I mean, do you see how happy he was, how relieved he was at the end of that fight? He weren't in on, on any kind of fix. Now, of course, what people are pointing at is quite a few different things. So I'm going to go through them. Firstly, the fact that Dan Dubois, he get hit. It looked like he was a left shot to the temple. Kevin Lorraine, of course, is southpaw. So heavy handed left lands on the temple. Now, was it his equilibrium that was off? Maybe his knee jarred, whatever. Now, apparently his knee did jar and it was uh, swollen up a little bit. Now, was it the knee or was it the headshot that put down Dan Dubois? Because again, it wasn't a straight down. It was a bit of a delayed reaction. Then he went down. Of course, he gets back up and he goes down two more times where Kevin Lorena didn't really land on him. Now, you could look at that and say, well, clearly there was a problem. Why don't the referee jump in? He got dropped officially three times. The WBA rules are quite clear. When a fighter goes down three times, it's classed as a technical knockout. The fight is over. When they get knocked down three times in one round. But it's a little bit different here because the British Box Board of Control can override that. Now, this is a WBA sanctioned bout. It's for a WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship. So their rules should take precedence over the British Boxing Board of Control, but they don't, okay? So the British Boxing Board of Control, they don't recognize the, the uh, three knockdown rule, therefore it didn't matter, okay? So there's that one. Also, the timekeeper rung that bell 12 seconds too soon. There was still 12 seconds of round number one. Could Kevin Lorraine have got him out of there? Well, we're gonna get onto that in a second. But 12 seconds was more than enough time, considering that Dan Dubois could hardly stand. There's a very real chance he went down for a fourth time. And as per WBA rules, the bell can't save you. Okay. Now, you could look at it another way and as well. Round number two, Kevin Lorena did nothing. Now, I don't know about you. Obviously, I'm not a professional boxer. Okay, and I'm sure most of you are not too. But I think human instinct, where you're going to get that red mist come over your eyes, where you see your opponents hurt, they're going to come out for round number two after being dropped three times in round number one. You're going to jump all over them. You are going to throw that kitchen sink. When they come out from the corner to start a new round and they still ain't looking right, you're going to go for it. You're going to throw the kitchen sink. You're going to go batshit crazy. You may even start throwing drop kicks in that, you, that your mind will go all over the place. But Kevin Lorena did what that entire round? Nothing. You throw, what, three punches maybe? No urgency about him whatsoever. This was his moment to become WBA regular world heavyweight champion of the world and to get a Daniel Dubois on his resume. But he did nothing. Nothing. He let him off the hook, is what he done. Round number three, again, Kevin Arena did little to nothing in that round. Now, of course, he did get a drop down. Some people are criticizing the fact they went down that he dived. Um, I don't see it that way. His guard was up. Dan Dubois throws a right 
straight on the pipe, hits him flush, coming around and goes down. And if you watch it on replay in slow motion, you could see his eyes almost roll back into his head as he goes down. It was a legitimate punch for sure. Okay. Anyway, he gets up. Dan Dubois does what Dan Dubois does, and full credit to him, because when he gets somebody hurt, guess what he does? He goes for it, unlike Kevin Lorena. And it, anyway, so he goes apeshit at Kevin Lorena, start throwing bombs. A couple did land through one uppercut. That was a pretty good. That did go through. Kevin Lorena didn't look comfortable for sure. Of course, yes, of course he's going down. But the referee stops the fight, even though the bell goes. Now we understand that WBA rules are uh, the bell can't save you. But if you're not going to listen to the WBA rules with a three knockdown rule, then why are you listening when it comes to their rule of the bell can't save you? Because the bell did go. Right? Now, whether Kevin Lorena was hurt or not, at, in that moment, at least give him the benefit of the doubt. Let him go to his stool, because he's right next to it. Sit down for that minute and see how he comes out for round number four. As you gave down Dubois, plenty of opportunities in round number one, after being, or, go, or going down three times in round number one, you gave him every opportunity to continue. And he was clearly her, clearly her. But he didn't do the same for Kevin Lorena. It's almost like Kevin Lorena wasn't supposed to drop down to boy, he wasn't supposed to hurt him. Now, whether he did hurt him or not, I've got a feeling that he didn't. What did hurt down to Bois is the knee went, and he could hardly stand up. So he was going down from nothing. Kevin Lorena must have thought, whoa, hang on a minute. Hang on. This ain't supposed to happen. I'm not, I'm not going to get my bonus now. No, I'm not saying that uh, he was in on the fix. I'm not saying that's what it was. But what I'm saying is, from the outside looking in, if it ever transpires that something like that did happen, because it'll all come out eventually, then we can kind of see why. Because he didn't go for it at all. Had no urgency about him whatsoever. When the referee stops the fight on the bell, he didn't complain. Most people complain anyway, even if it is a legitimate stoppage, right? But he didn't complain not once. So if the fix was there, if, then, you have to say, well, maybe Kevin Lorraine was in on it. Maybe the referee was on it. Maybe the timekeeper was in on it. Who knows? Listen, I don't know if there was a fix. I have absolutely no idea. But it's certainly got people talking, hasn't it? Because there's quite a few things in there that would make you go, what on earth did we just watch? Anyway, I give credit to Dan Dubois because, again, I know some people are saying how Shane McGuigan had to convince him to come out for round number two. I never really saw that. But even so, he did come out for round number two. He was wobbly. He was in a lot of pain. You could see that. But he rose through it. Whereas a lot of people called him a quitter on that before. I think he's shown there in that moment that he can go through adversity. He can go through it. But I do worry about him and his punch resistance going forward. How is he going to react if a Joshua, a Wilder, a White, a, a Jagbar, and of course there's talk about a rematch with Joe Joyce and all that kind of stuff. How is he going to react when he's getting hit by much bigger punches than a Kevin Lorena, who's a career cruiserweight? How is he going to react? Anyway, time will tell. I said I'm a big fan of Dan Dubois, so of course me being a little bit biased with that one, of course I'm glad he got the win, but... Those who say that it was a fixed fight, I can see where you're coming from. I really can. From multiple different things. Multiple. The referee didn't stop the fight after three knockdowns. The timekeeper rings the bell 12 seconds early. Kevin Lorena had no aggression in him whatsoever. Didn't go for it. In round number two, round number three, the referee steps in way too early or stops the fight too early, I should say. Of course, it's all opinionated. Um, we don't know. Eventually, of course, we'll find out if there is a fix. It always comes out eventually. Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.